All right, um, Mr. Gizmo suggested that I have a look at this. I've just downloaded it and loaded it into VMware uh, Player. And uh, I'm going to sit here and have a look at it because uh, this looks like a viable option for those people who uh, want to uh, experience an art space distribution but don't want to go through the hassle of building Arch themselves. Uh, let's uh, have a look and see what we get. I've never booted this before. I have no idea what we're getting. I'm just trying this for the first time. And uh, let's see what we get. Okay, so uh, we'll start the installer. Um, we'll do online. Ah, we got calamari. Okay, this is easy. Okay. I like the theme. Okay, base develop and common packages, and uh, oh, this is nice. Um, I can install the XFCE desktop. Maybe I don't want Parole or Restretto or Orange. Oh, nice. You can pick what you want here. <laughs> Nitpick. Oh, I like this. You know, I'm just going to do the full, uh, the base devel, uh, the full XFCE4 desktop with the whole kit and caboodle. I could have, uh, see what else here. Okay, you can choose accessibility if you need it. Printing support, which I don't need. LXQT, i3, Deepin, Budgie. Cinnamon, Gnome, Plasma, and Mate. But uh, XOCE has always been my favorite desktop, so I'll rock with that. Let's see what we get here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Password is too short. Well, that's what I want. Um, log in automatically without asking for password and use the same password for the administrator account. Okay, good. All right, and uh, we will commit to this installation and we will see what we get. Install now. Okay, installation is completed. Let's go ahead and restart this thing. Okay, bootloader screen looks good. Okay. Looks like we've got a number of things that we can do to uh, do some post-install stuff. Why don't I minimize this? Yeah, why not? We'll choose the Endeavor wallpaper. Okay. Um, just a standard menu. No um, whisker. Aww. Aww. Okay, uh, how about uh, let's go into settings and then display. Let's pick a better resolution. Okay, keep this configuration. All right, we'll go with this one for now while we're having a look. All right, well, that was an easy and painless installation. Um, important Arch News are available. Want to see them? Okay. Let's see what we've got here in the welcome section here. General info. Okay. After install. Okay. Update your mirrors. Oh, nice. Okay.
Endeavor OS default theme. Okay, we'll save that. One, two, three, four. Is required for the theme change to take effect, except in, okay, yeah. Hopefully that uh, window will come back and let me know um, all the other post install stuff. Hey, 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 it did not remember my desktop setting. That wasn't nice. Okay, so this is the Endeavor theme. Um, let's look at package management here. Okay, so I'm um, just telling you about Pac-Man. All right. Doesn't look like it has a GUI one, then, does it? Um, detect system issues. No issues were detected. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, AUR and yay. Alright, looks like uh, yay is pre installed on this. Right, so yay is installed. Um, could have the XFCE uh, vanilla theme, wallpaper, display manager. It's using light DM right now. That's fine. That's what I would use. Install LibreOffice, Chromium, a firewall, Bluetooth. It's got Firefox. I kind of like this layout for um, the Whiskey menu. It's been a long time since I uh, played with any settings on it. and. Um, on mine, I have mine the same old way that I've had for ages. <laughs> uh, so this is refreshing to see uh, some new looks for it. Looks kind of neat. All right, and uh, I just chose the base XFCE install. And uh, all the typical things that you would expect to come with XFCE is here. And um, all right, and to make it even more user friendly, you probably would want to install PAMAC uh, onto this, although I wouldn't even do it myself. Um, because uh, I do all of my installations through the terminal. Uh, and uh, I, I made the switch to Yay myself. I kind of like it. Um, but if you want Pemec to have a GUI front end, um, it's here in the AUR. So good stuff. I'm surprised they didn't bundle this in as a part of the OS, but that's okay.
Okay, well, it's fully up to dated, so we didn't have to update anything. Now, what's this like on here? Oh, okay. It's a system monitor. I like this. Okay. Just out of curiosity. Okay. XFCE4 terminal tack E uh, glances dash dash uh, per CPU. Okay. See, I learned something new every time I uh, wind up uh, in another distribution. I kind of like that. Yeah, I like that as a system monitor. That would probably be good on my server. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Gotta love it when you learn new things. I like the icon theme and the layout of this, though. Um, so, cool stuff. Desktop switcher, a network, a volume, battery, notifications which those need to go right away. Um, okay, this is the welcome. Yes, we looked at this earlier. Okay, and uh, I can always come back to these again if I need to. Okay, you can define uh, what logs are being saved. Hmm. Alright, so uh, I know this would uh, work very well if I were to slap this on uh, uh, an actual ThinkPad, and I have one lying around here. That I could slap this on and see how well it does. Looks good. Um... Uh, Matthew was telling me, he says it needs work, um, but it's a step in the right direction. I'd have to agree. Um, I think this has uh, an edge over some of the other uh, Arch Linux installers out there that I've uh, seen. Um, the uh, installer for this is nice. Okay, um, You get your choice over which desktop you want, and you can pick some of the components that you don't want uh, from the installer uh, as we saw earlier so uh, that is a win-win for me um, so uh, yeah the 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 uh, I'd have to say I like the installer on this a lot better than some of the other build your own arch distro uh, installers that are out there um, I would I would have liked to see um, maybe in the uh, menu or during the install prompt, and maybe it is in the install prompt, and I didn't see it, to uh, maybe give the uh, the uh, end user um, the ability to install an LTS kernel. Then you avoid having to, you know, uh, swap them out after the install. But other than that, this looks good. I like what I see. Okay, so that was a good suggestion, uh, Mr. Gizmo. Um, very good suggestion indeed. Uh, I'll keep a copy of this and uh, I'll install it on uh, my spare ThinkPad when I have some free time. And um, uh, the I, I picked up I, I picked up uh, uh, a spare pink, uh, ThinkPad on the dirt 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 cheap on eBay. It was kind of beat up and everything. It's uh, got an i5 processor in it with uh, only four gigs of RAM. It's got pieces falling off of it, but it runs. Um, and I've been looking for an OS to throw onto it. Um, it had been running um, Zubuntu on it, but it's kind of finicky with that OS. So I'm looking into uh, installing an Arch-based distro on it, and I didn't want to sit down and build Arch over the weekend. 
uh, you know, uh, take all the time to manual, do a manual install when uh, I can just slap in a distro like this and pff, it's done, you know. So uh, I have to admit, sometimes I like to take a few shortcuts myself. Um, so, all right, good suggestion. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Gizmo. Um, yeah, I'll definitely keep a copy of this and uh, good stuff indeed. All right, um, I don't know what I'm going to be covering next on Cup of Linux. I do know that uh, I'll be going back to work on Monday and uh, my free time uh, after that. Uh, after uh, working and uh, doing my other little side dealies that I do. Um, I'll try and get some videos out when I can, but I'm not going to be cranking them out every day, that's for sure. Okay, um, a little bit of love goes a long way. So please, be sure to take some of your time and be excellent with somebody today. Until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.